Hey, Mom. Hey, wh where are you? Where am I, Mom? I'm at work. Well, actually, I'm at home, but I'm working. Well, why, why didn't you come by? You're supposed to come by today. Uh, Mom, I, um, I, no, I, I told you um, yesterday when I, when I visited yesterday night that I didn't think I'd be able to, to visit today. Do you remember? Well, I, you didn't come by yesterday. No, no, Mom. Yesterday, yesterday night, I came by. Um, you know, where I told yeah. you, about Olivia, and and I and I told you. Beth, I, I haven't seen you in weeks, and you told me that you were coming by today. Mom, okay, listen, Mom. I don't know if you remember, but there's a virus going around, and they're trying to keep everybody sick. I can't. What, what do you mean a virus? Yeah, well, like like a flu virus thing. There's there's a virus going around, and I and I can't. Well, are you sick? Oh, great. So a bad situation just got worse. Seems like Bess having a hard time recognizing mom's memory issues. And so she starts off not being very helpful, although part of it is because Beth is somewhat distressed. Mom obviously doesn't remember that Beth was there. You heard her say that, but Beth wants to remind her she was there so she can remind her of what she said. And then she's gonna remind her of the virus. If she's having to do that much reminding, maybe reminding's not a place to go. But let's see what happens next. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll all work out. No, 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 I'm not sick. Don't worry about us. We're fine here. We're fine. But Okay, so when are you coming by? Well, I, I can't, they can't take any visitors right now. Who, what do you mean they can't take, who can't take visitors? I can take visitors. Well, you could if there wasn't a virus go around. They're trying to keep everybody healthy. So they're just decreasing well, the risk. But I can't, I, I can't stay here. If there's a virus, I'm going to get sick. No, no, no. You won't get sick in there, Mom. It's, you're, you're safe there. That's why they can't, they're not letting other people come in uh, if they be carrying a virus. Well, right? Have you talked to the doctor? No, there's, I, we're not sick, Mom. We're not sick. But if there's a virus, we need to do something to, to make sure we don't get sick. I mean, I don't, I don't have anything here to, I, I don't have my vitamins and I don't have, Mom, they have your vitamins. The nurse has your vitamins. So you're okay. We're, we're all okay. We just got to stay put until this virus, you know, passes and then we'll be okay. Well, I, I, I don't understand. Hmm. No, it didn't get a lot better. Now Beth has her mom worried about the virus and what the virus would do to her and whether or not she's safe, whether or not Beth and her daughter is safe. And Beth has spent over two minutes trying to do this and her mom's final comment i don't understand and she's right beth is giving lots of data but she's not taking in lots of data she's having a really hard time letting go of the idea that her mom can't hold on to the information she's passing along and she's getting a little frustrated that her mom is having this degree of difficulty hmm so I wonder how much is because of the virus and how much is because Beth's mom has dementia and Beth hasn't quite figured out how to communicate with her mom in general. And now we have something on top of it that's making it even worse. And we have the added barrier, no visitation, which if Beth could stop by in person, maybe they could distract easier. Maybe they could get off on other things. Maybe things would be different, but that's not going to happen, at least for right now, as far as it looks to me. So let's see what happens next, because maybe even though Beth's mom doesn't understand, she's she's OK with it and she'll figure out something else to do. Let's see what happens next. Well, listen, tell you what, I'll, I'll call you and we can chat. In fact, you could also get your tablet out, you know, and we could talk that way if you want. But I won't be able to come and visit for just a little, just a couple of days, probably about a week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. Okay? Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. Mom, um, it, it will be okay, okay? You're all right. And it's just, we just got to let this virus pass and then I'll be able to visit you, okay? I, I, I don't know. Um, listen, I've got to get back to work. You are going to be fine. We just, I won't be able to visit today, okay? So 
that's not going well. Beth's mom hangs up. Beth isn't satisfied. Mom's not satisfied. But maybe Beth has learned something. Let's see if she's doing any better. Because guess what? Mom said, I don't understand. Mom doesn't know where Beth is. Mom does know it's evening. And mom does know Beth usually visits in the evening. What do you bet? Let's see what happens next. Oh, God, again? Hey, Mom. Beth, where are you? Okay, listen, I have got to get, I've got to get work done, okay? You Mom? were supposed to come by at 7.30, and I've been waiting for days. I know, I know, Mom, you have. It's just, I can't come to visit you, okay? Tell you what, get out a sticky note, get out a sticky note, and put it right on your calendar, right where I leave all your appointments. Sticky note. Are you a sticky note, like the yellow ones I left you? Okay. Yeah, I see that. Yep. Right on it. Beth, I'm going to be there April 6th. Why April 6th? What's, wait. Well, that's for sure by the time this virus goes away. and, and, and What virus? So Beth's mom's having a hard time finding the sticky notes, noticing the calendar. And Beth brings up the virus again. Mom doesn't remember about the virus. So now we have a situation where Beth is trying to give mom a solution to her problem, but Beth may or may not be understanding exactly the problem mom's having. Is the problem, when exactly is Beth coming or is the problem Beth isn't there when mom expects her? Yeah, Beth hasn't come and mom's expecting her. Telling her April 6th on March 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, April 2nd, 3rd, 4th, mom can't hold on to the data from the phone call a few minutes ago. I'm not sure looking at the calendar and saying Beth will be here on April 6th is going to relieve her distress or her anxiety. The problem might actually be she's missing Beth, but I wonder whether there's another problem. What's mom have to do with herself? She's now in a lockdown situation where nobody's coming in, nobody's going out except for care providers. And care providers are busy trying to provide care. And mom is actually even more isolated in that she's not supposed to interact with people in the community. So she's truly all alone. And she was having a hard time putting a day together. I'm not optimistic about this. Maybe Beth will surprise me and come up with something that's very effective. But I think she might need a little more awareness, knowledge, and skill to make this work better. Let's see, we'll give it another chance and then we might want to pause. Hmm, uh, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's going all that well. Mom, that's the reason I can't visit you, okay? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean there's a virus? Are you sick? Yeah, not a lot better. So we had another conversation, didn't end in a better way. And now mom is reaching her limit. So we have a third phone call. And this time, let's hear what mom sounds like this time. Hmm. This is really starting to escalate. Let's listen in. Oh, God, mom. Hi, mom. Don't hi me. You're supposed to be here, and it's 7.30 already, and I've been waiting for days, and you keep saying you're coming, and you're not coming. Mom, I can't come. They've got What do you mean you can't them. come? I'm not allowed to visit anymore. Why, what are you talking about you can't visit? Mom, Why are you lying to me about this? I'm not lying to you, Mom. You There's, just left me here. There is a virus, and we're all just trying to keep you what? healthy, okay? What, what virus? There's Who's sick? We're not sick, but that's why they won't let people... You're not sick, so you... This is bullshit. Oops. I was right. It escalated. Mom is now saying bullshit, and you're lying. Hmm. I'm not thinking or feeling this is going in the right direction. So maybe we need something 
really different. Maybe we need a whole different approach to this. Maybe Beth might want to recognize where mom is, what mom needs, and what she needs before she gets too far in. Because unless she can get mom to feel connected to her, mom's going to want to be connected and not feel like she can do it. So let's see what happens when Beth gets her thinking pack cap on and figures it out a little bit before she makes the call. She has a plan, she has a thought, an idea, and she follows through on it. Let's see what happens this time. Maybe it'll be a little better. Hey, Mom. Hi, um, honey, where are you? Oh, no, you're looking for, for me to be there, huh? Well, yeah, I th it's 7.30, and you're always here at 7.30, and I haven't seen you in days. But I'm always there at 7.30, okay. aren't I? Yeah, yeah, this is a real change, isn't it, Mom? I am so sorry. I wish I could be there. So, I don't know if I, if I, I actually, I don't know. You have to help me out. I can't remember if I told you or not, but there's a bug going on. Well, uh, 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 like you're sick? Are yeah. you sick? Is Olivia sick? You're wondering if we're sick. You're wondering if we're sick? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, we're we're okay. But there are other people who are getting sick from this bug. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and I, and I don't remember if I, if I really apologize. I don't remember if I told you that I couldn't come tonight. Well, when, when can you come? Well, they're telling us we got to let this bug run its course for other people. Yeah. And so to keep everyone safe, they need our help. So I was wondering okay. if you could help me out. Could you help me out, Mom? Well, so yeah, what can we do? I mean, I don't want people to get sick. Yeah, exactly. And, and they're saying that people can get a cough and they can have some breathing problems. And so here's what they're recommending. They're asking us to stick to our houses and watch a lot of TV, drink a lot of tea, relax and read some books, and then in just about two weeks, we can all start seeing each other again. Well, two, so two, when is two weeks? So probably two weeks. Do you have your calendar there or something to look at? Yeah, it's right here on my table. Let's take a look at your calendar. Okay. So in two weeks, we're looking at, so what is the date? We're looking at March, Gosh, what is it? March almost 16th, huh? Yeah. Wow. So two weeks. Boy, we're looking at almost beginning of April. That's a really long time. That is a really long time. Yeah, that is a really long time. Long. Do you think you could help me out with this? I Because... Yeah, I mean, I'll write a note. Okay. Can we talk? Will you, will you call me? I would love that idea. Thank you. Yes. And Olivia, too? You bet, because you're actually, by having us not visit and not go out of the house as much, that way she stays a lot healthy, too. I don't want her to get sick. I don't want anybody to get sick. Well, you know what? You could probably help us out if you could talk to her and maybe let her know what you're doing, how okay. you're keeping busy. Okay. Do that? Yeah, and TV. Yeah. Tea, I like, we have tea. You have tea? We have tea. I've been drinking more tea lately because of you. It's good for you. It warms up the whole inside of your body and keeps you from getting sick. It does. It's like that medicine you always tell me about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I you know a lot about it. <laughs> You should do, we should have tea together on the phone. Oh, can, yeah, we can do that. I would love that. That would make me so happy. Okay, well, you'll call me. Okay, tell you what, I will call you tonight. Okay. If I'm good, I'll call you in about an hour and check with you. Maybe we can have a glass of tea. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. I would love that. Thanks, Mom. All right, I love you, honey. I love you, too. Bye. All right, bye. Well... I think this was an improvement. So let's review, what did Beth do? What were some of the skills she used? When she answered her mom, she responded to her mom's emotion. She did a reflection rather than moving the conversation forward. 
And when her mom asked something else or said something else, before Beth gave her mom info, she paused, she reflected what she thought she heard her mom say, and then she gave her one piece of information. And when she gave her the one piece, she paused to see where that took her mom. And then when they had gone back and forth a few times, things seemed to settle a little bit for her mom. Her mom wasn't thrilled, wasn't happy. And I will say, time out, not every person at this point in the disease would have responded well to the calendar. And so a whole other idea that Beth might try if that doesn't work this time, it did, but if it doesn't, she could say, hey mom, could you do me a big favor? Have you got any of the sticky notes there? Listen, I am feeling sort of like there's a lot going on with this whole thing about not being able to visit. I wonder if you'd do me a big favor. You used to make um, a soup, and the soup was a vegetable soup. And I remember that, and I remember you always used fresh vegetables. Would you jot down which vegetables you use? See if you can think of some of the vegetables you use. And when I call you back, if you could share that with me, I'd really like to get some fresh vegetables on the one trip out that I make and try to do some vegetable soup. Because I think that would be good for us. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with you. Oh, you know what else? Rather than just calling, I'm wondering if maybe we could zoom together oh you know what i have a big favor to ask of you i'm going to show you some pictures that i found will you take a look at them and see if you recognize any of the stuff that i show you because some of it i, I don't know what you do with it it's stuff we found in the kitchen and you were always such a cook I, i'm just wondering and some plants that i have out in the yard that i could use some help with. you know mom i love you and I think I'll miss you as much as you'll miss me. The good thing, we do have the computer and we do have the phone. And we have each other. Thanks, mom. I love you. It's just a little different way to go. All in all, this time when Beth talked to her mom, mm, big improvement. But it's gonna be a long couple weeks or maybe longer, and things may change. So hopefully this is a conversation. Notice the word bug, notice the word you could help me. So many pieces of pack. So if you have questions, if you need help, please feel free to get up with us. Info at tipasnow.com. We're here for you and we're here for each other, even if we can't visit in person. Thanks for all you're doing and thanks for being curious.